The Pembrokeshire coast is one of the smallest national parks in the United Kingdom, yet it's still one of the most beautiful places to visit. With a hoard of hidden gems and miles of golden sand to visit, the Pembrokeshire coast is home to some of the most picturesque views in the country. The 186 miles of fantastic coastal scenery offers a wide variety of different views, ranging from the craggy outcrops of the north to the limestone cliffs in the south. The Pembrokeshire coast is where you'll find some of the most iconic and stunning natural rock formations in the country. From the iconic Greenbridge of Wales to the lesser known outcrops near St David's, we'll be delving into how over millions of years the once large cliffs have been eroded into the landmarks they are now. The first rock formation I'll be looking at is the Blue Lagoon, located in Aberethy. The Blue Lagoon, located in the Aberethy Bay, is the ruins of a small slate quarry that is now flooded due to erosion. The slate quarry used to mine slate that was used to build houses and buildings for the workers of the quarry, and the slate was also transported by tram to nearby Porthgain Harbour. The remains of some of the work, workers' houses can be seen along the pathway leading from the beach to the Blue Lagoon and Old Quarry. However, these buildings were abandoned and ruined due to the flood when the channel connecting the quarry to the sea was blasted, allowing the sea to flood the quarry in the early 20th century. The second rock formation we will be exploring is the Calvi Bay. Calvi Bay is a rocky cove on the north coast of St Bride's Bay. The bay itself is enclosed by steep cliffs and has a sandy beach at low tides. The bay is located only 1.4 kilometres from St David's. The cliff sac sections display distinctive red, purple and greenish coloured rocks in the formations after many years of erosion due to the weather. These rocks represent parts of the Calvi and Parthirao groups of the Lower and Middle Cambrian Age. The rocks located here overlie the Pabidian volcanic rocks at the southern edge of the Welsh Basin. Moving further east across the county is Caerbudi Bay. Caerbudi Bay is a sheltered cove at the end of a valley near St David's. The beach here mostly consists of pebbles. The pebbles found here are purple from the Pembrokeshire Purple Stone, most famously for being used to make the St David's Cathedral. When the stone is dry, it's a dark grey purple colour, but when the stones get wet, the, wa the water turns them a unique deep purple colour. This rock, a sort of sandstone, became well known as Calabrudi stone because it was originally quarried in Calabrudi. I always tend to go down to Porthgain a lot and do different views of the harbour. Um, there's always lots of things to photograph down there and it changes every time. But I like going down there, that's because that's where my family, my mum was from. She was born down there and I spent like a lot of time when I was a kid down there. So I've got lots of good memories. So I do tend to go down there a lot when it's quiet because it's a very popular spot for holiday makers. So I have to sort of go down when it's, um, you know, out of season really to get uh, to get the most of it. Um, another place where I, I love to go is Boshiston Lily Ponds in the summer. But again, cap capturing that <clears throat> when there's less people around is, is, is tricky. So I tr tend to go either very early morning or at the end of the day. But that changes as well so much that every time you go down there, there's something different. And um, well, there's, there's lots of places in Pembrokeshire, but they're the two that are at the top of my list at the moment. There is one, um, and it's, I, I don't have my own photos hanging up in my house, but I have got this one. <laughs> And it's a, it's a woodland scene I took down in, um, it's the wood down by Blackpool Mill. There's a uh, forest down there. And I, it was just a really early morning. Uh, it was a, it, the, the, the floor had like all these red leaves on. It was an autumn day, but there were still some leaves on the trees and the sun was, was like creeping through the trees. I, and I took this scene and um, I didn't realise that at the time, but when I when I got home and I you know uploaded it to my PC, I just saw it and I was like, oh, that's that's just, just just magical. There was just something about it, and um, I've had so many people commenting on it and saying well, how beautiful it is. It's just I think it's because it's nature really, and it's um, it's really untouched by man, and it's a, a really beautiful photo, and. So that's the only one I've um, I've had made into a, a had it framed and put up in my house, and I just love it. I, I love it calms me down when I see it. I just think it's lovely, and I do like scenes with 
you know, water in as well. And I have got a very close second, but that's definitely my first. Now moving across the county to the eastern coast of Pembrokeshire, where there are many other iconic and famous rock formations from the deep coastal caverns of the Devil's Cauldron to the natural arches of the Greenbridge of Wales that show how over many years of erosion can alter the appearance of the once broad coastal headland into a series of fantastic rock formations. Firstly, I'll be heading to the Greenbridge of Wales to look further into how this natural arch has been formed in the Carboniferous Limestone. Many of these rocks have been formed in an area with a thick layer of limestone where over time the erosion has occurred as storm winds have battered the coastline, pebbles have been dashed against the rocks and sand particles have worn away the surface, causing chemical erosion to dissolve the limestone. In the case of the Greenbridge of Wales, erosion has taken place on both sides of a small headland where the two valleys would have formed over time have been made deeper and wider due to the salty water against the rock until the headland got narrower, causing the rock to collapse, forming the amazing arch that can be seen today. The Greenbridge of Wales is Pembrokeshire's most well-known tourist attraction, and it's been called the most spectacular arch in the United Kingdom. Stack Rocks is another interesting rock formation located very close to the Greenbridge of Wales, and the two are often compared with each other because of how similar they are to one another. Originally Stack Rocks would have also been a small headland of coastal Pembrokeshire, but the erosion would have caused the two caves from either side of the headland where they would have been extended further before meeting in the middle and forming an arch very similar to the Greenbridge of Wales. Continued erosion and chemical dissolving of the rocks eventually caused the arch to collapse, leaving just the stacks of rocks that are here today. Just a short walk from the Greenbridge of Wales and Stack Rocks is another lesser known rock formation that can be found. Devil's Cauldron, a large enclosed shaft. In the beginning, Devil's Cauldron would have just been a cliff face, but several caves formed in the cliffside, and over time, the water in these cliffside caves would have turned into blowhole caves, which is when the pressure of water being jetted into the cave causes the caves to erode upwards. The erosion would have been continued into the caves underground until a critical point was reached, and the entire structure collapsed, leaving the cauldron-like formation that's visible today. The final rock formation in this cluster of extraordinary rocks is Huntsman's Leap. It is a deep, narrow coastal chasm formed in the limestone of the Pembrokeshire coast. At its widest point, this coastal chasm spans 40 metres, but along the chasm the width varies, so its narrowest point is approximately 3 metres wide. The name Huntsman's Leap derives from a local folklore. A hunter on horseback is said to have jumped from one side to the other of the chasm. Upon looking back at and seeing the gap which he had jumped, he died of shock. And that's it, a trip to some of the many iconic and some lesser known rock formations from all over Pembrokeshire. We've seen everything, from deep and narrow chasms to craggy and steep stretches of coastline located in the beautiful coastline of Pembrokeshire.